Hello, good morning or good evening. Welcome to Family Showdown randomly on this fine, fine Sunday morning. We are here. Yeah, so we kind of. Hold on, let me. Uh oh, uh oh. Let me get technical set up here. All right. So we kind of made a promise to our European viewers that we would occasionally do a morning show. So this is one of those morning shows. So if you're a European person and you're watching us in the evening, welcome. Yeah, hello. <laughs> if you're saying, watching I after the fact, welcome as well. Yes, yes, I already see somebody on there. Hello, glad you could make it. Yeah, we'll probably try to do more Saturday than Sunday because yeah. I know there's a lot of church peeps and stuff that too. Um, us heathens filming during prime church time. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, we're, we're out and about and wanted to play and chat and goof around with you. So, what's on the agenda, sir? We have a quite a big agenda today. So, we're going to do questions and answers. Those are always welcome at any time. Um, we're going to talk about new plays. We don't have many. It's been a slow couple of weeks for us. <laughs> uh, Rebecca's been out of town and, it's, and such. Then we got an unboxing, which is just out of view. And, oh my... Are you in for an unboxing? <laughs> yes. And Rebecca's going to do a review for us, one of her random reviews. Oh, jeez. And... It's going to be really random. A surprise trailer. Trailer? We have a trailer. Is that what they call those things when you tease uh, something? A trailer? Like a movie trailer? Something like that. I'm terrified. <laughs> a trailer. All right. Hmm. Hmm. I have some my suspicions. You have your suspicions. Yes, you big nerd. Okay, anyway. <laughs> so, all right. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so new plays. We got a whopping two brand new to us games that we've played. I've been out of town. Since the last time we did one of these. So you want to talk about one of them? Yes. You all know I like me some word games. This lovely, pretty little hardback. The sequel to Paperback. I think, I think it's actually a prequel. <laughs> wow, really? <sighs> yes, they usually come out first, don't they, in hardback. All right, I'll let you talk, uh, but talk away. Look at this, it's so cute. Ta-da, here's your scoreboard. Eee! It's so cute, and it's a nice little color-coded library. Very cool. I should just make this my random review, man. But it, I, I liked this. It's very similar in generic style to... Uh, paperback, but it offers some. I don't know. What would you What would you say? I mean, like the main. It doesn't have the, like the the universal like they have the uh, in paperback. You've got like the vowels over to the side that right. you can play off of. It doesn't have that at all. And instead, like, oh my goodness, here I'm trying to find. Oh, these are all. This is see. I haven't played. The hunter set up the game when I played, so I'm a little bit kind of off on. Those are the standard decks. So you have the standard decks. Okay, oh, this is the starter decks. Okay, yes. so you have the starter decks. It's like the RSTLNAE, like the um, Wheel of Fortune startup number cards and stuff, right. right? So you've got those, and you've got a couple vowels in there, too. And you start with that. And you're, it is a deck builder, so you are accumulating cards. And you're making these words. And the cool thing is you can, to make wild, you just flip the card over. But you don't get points for it unless you have something special that does allow it. But that way you can make words that maybe you didn't have all of the, the letters for and stuff. I really enjoyed that because that kind of gave you a lot more freedom to get creative with the cards that you did have. And then, let's see here. So we have... We haven't played any we special even, stuff. Yeah, we haven't even played with all the stuff yet. Ooh. See, I, now I'm exploring. I'm like, ooh, there's all this nonsense in here that I haven't even looked at. Well, it has a few, but, it has a few differences. It has um, cards that once you play them, they kind of get locked in. Yeah, like one, this one, for example. And you get bonuses every turn until the one of the other players uses it in a word, and then that unlocks it. And I had a lot of fun with these because I kept getting them, and then you'd have to like kind of change your plan so you could eliminate them, or I'd right. get mad points. <laughs> so it's just great. If nothing else, you can kind of, conf you know busy your opponent by throwing these down really quickly. And I like them because you can see them right away because you have to put them horizontally out. The rest of them are all, you know, like this. They're, they're all vertical. They're all the regular cards. So they stand out. I really liked that. Each card, besides the fact that they had really pretty art, all of them have different fonts. 
I hope you can. So oh, those there's, there's five up there different well. kinds of books. There's um, romance and horror and yeah, all the different genres. So and, and the the difference between this and paperback, this one adds factions, which I was just talking about. There's five. I think there's yeah. five different types of books. And yes. if you play two letters of the same type book. You get like a bonus, bonus uh, ability or bonus points or bonus, bonus. You get a bonus. You get bonuses of bonus. Um, what, other, what other differences are there? Have they have a? It's got a press your luck element, which the other one didn't have. Mm -hmm. You can if you have ink. There's like little ink. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot about the ink, ink things. You can play one of those and draw an extra card to make your word bigger. But your you, locks in. You have to play that card. You have to use that card in your I word. Totally, yeah. So you're taking a risk by doing that. Um, and it's then they have fun. ink remover. If you have those, once you press your luck and you get a card that you don't want to use, you can use ink remover to take the ink off, and then it goes into your hand, and now you don't have to play it. That ink. So um, there you go. It, oh, yes. um, it's cute. It's, so it's. I think it's more gamery than, yeah, than paperback. Yeah, it is. It is, and I love. I mean, and it's also nerdier. I didn't think that was possible because paperback is pretty nerdy. But I mean, the score, your score marker is a little book. But yes, you did have to put stickers on it, just so you know. <laughs> but it's a book. It's adorable. I, I love it. The ink, I thought the ink was kind of a fun touch. Yep. Um, and then you can use, um, what is it, three ink. If you have all the extra ink, you can use three ink to as a coin to buy something. I know, and I never ended up doing that. I always, I don't know if I forgot about it or what. And it looks like we have some, some little player mat things. There is uh, lots of different things there's, going on. There's special powers. There's there's several different variants that you can yeah, play in the game. These, it's really cool. good. It's the really art's good. really cool. Yeah, we haven't even tapped into all of it yet. There's so if much you, stuff If you on. love paperback, I would say that you yeah, should get this. Get this one. If you're ready for a little more um, challenging game. a little more, yeah. There's a little more to learn. There's more paperback. to it. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yep. And it's got the typical box, just like the other one did, that has really cute art book related theme stuff all over it so yeah you can completely nerd out on it so yeah there you go hardback huge fan can't wait to play that again actually all right so the other one that's new to us i'm going to reserve until the end we're not going to talk about it yet. oh yes because i know what that is now and you're going to be like oh. <laughs> freaking out all yeah. right so that's it for new plays. Let's go to a Rebecca random review. All right, you crazy peeps. I think we only have like a, a few people. On. Oh, this is good though. That you'll probably get your your pick. So pick a number. Let's see. <laughs> pick a number between one and five. Or well, pick a number one through five. One of those random. Inclusive. Inclusive. All inclusive. <laughs> let's see if they actually. Uh... Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. You we got, got this. We got a Canadian and a, it looks like a European because they said good evening. So I said, oh, hey, yay! Europe. <laughs> yay! I love it. So, yeah. One through five. One through five. And then after that. Oh, we got a four. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. And then a number. One through 50. One to 50? Yep. This is really random. It is. <laughs> One, two, three. I only have four shelves. I don't know where you... Oh, there's five shelves. Ah! Oh, math! <laughs> there's okay. five shelves. Oh, I have a five. I'm just going to take You're that. You're just going to take the I'm going to take that. Why not? That's awesome. All right, so... I think we've already... Have we done that? Pick one next to it. If you Which one are you thinking? Point to it, and I'll tell you whether we've done it have or not. Have we done this one? We just did this one. Did we? This one? No. No, we didn't. We talked about it for something. Oh, yeah. It yeah no, we, we haven't done that we one. We haven't done this one. All right. Here you go. Okay, okay. An oldie but a goodie, as we say. When did this come out? Power Gosh, Grid. Forever ago. 2004. Oh, wow. This is an oldie but a goodie, then. This is the the math game. The game. The, the game of math. Math the that's game. somehow the most amazing math game ever. It is. You're powering cities. And... I everything I should hate everything about this game. It's math heavy. <laughs> You're spending time producing power and using coal or wind energy or something to power those cities and you have to budget all this. Everything about this game screams I should hate this game and yep. yet this is one of my faves. Yep. There's an auction that There's you have an to bid, auction. You I'm not going to crazy about auctions either. That costs I... money. Then you have to, to auction for power for power stations. Yes. And then you have to pay money to build your yes. plants. And then you also have to pay money to get your resources. So yes. you have to budget all this up each turn. Yes. 
and I love it. It's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, here's a small portion of the map that we have. We have this is the it looks like the German side. Um, but anyway, so these are the costs and things that you have to do to get to these places. And then like here, depending on how many players is how many people can occupy the same space. So in a way, like if you've played Ticket to Ride, you can cut people off from these regions if you know if it's only two player only one person probably can go to certain cities that you know you can cut people off effectively so there's this little bit of strategy going on with that as well kind of area control ish um but and it, it, there's nothing super spectacular i mean you've got paper money so okay you know <laughs> it the little the little cube things. I think it'd be fun to trick this game up. Honestly, there's actually a, I think there's a I thing think you there can is. buy. You can buy the specific stuff. Yeah, for this. and you know, because here's the oil. Okay, yeah, I know, thrilling, right? And then this coal is cubes. Coal is cubes. Look at that, peeps. Check that out. And then we've got um, oh nuclear waste. Awesome. That's garbage. Oh, this is garbage? Where's this the nuclear is, this waste? Is uranium. Oh, uranium's red. Scary. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, you're like, ooh, that doesn't look so thrilling. But there's something about the elegance of the design with this game where they made it so smooth to play. And it's just addicting. You want to build this efficient engine and you want to outbid your opponent and have the better cities and have all of your cities light up. And it is... Awesome. So someone asks, what is your favorite strategy in terms of which type of power plants to get? Do you race to get the efficient ones that don't require any energy, or do you, what do you do? I, you know what? The times where I've won, I've made a good spread, because what happens is inevitably somebody's going to end up focusing on all coal or something, yeah. and there's going to be that point where you're not going to be able to afford it or get it so i found that if i spread out i have a backup plan and that's usually what i do is i try to like lay out and i, I do tend to focus on one i try to see who's doing what and pick the other thing <laughs> but it's i don't know i found it much easier that if i kind of lay it out that if something kind of gets screwed up i like i like the the extremes. I like to get the the wind, the whatever solar wind. Yeah, the yeah, free ones. The free but I also ones. like to be the first to get uranium. Be the, because if you're first, that's be powerful. the only person that has uranium is pretty powerful. Because because you always have enough uranium to, to do it, and it mm -hmm. fuels so much. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's really good. But you can see the cards. The art's really simplistic. I like it. Oddly enough, usually I don't like stuff like this, but it tells you like here's the the number they they have you lay them out in numerical order and stuff. And then there's the conversions. Um, so this one would power two places with one resource um, of nuclear power. Oh, here's one too that like this one you can use either coal or oil, and two for two. And it's it's really it's one of those that actually is not that difficult to grasp the concept of it's, it's just, well i mean it's one of those games where you when you play one round the next round is repeat pretty much and yeah it, you just repeat the same, well, and the, and, same and cycle and over and over the again. symbols are really easy to understand i mean you understand that that's you know like this one this is free wind and it's going to power a lot this is a great card you want this one you know because it doesn't cost you anything heck yeah but the um so yeah. I mean, it's not hard to figure out what means what and what you need to do it's just mastering the strategy to make the most efficient engine to do that so there you go yeah we were hesitant to play this one because we heard it was crazy math well i think you, I, 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 you I want, wanted to play i wanted it. to play I it, it but I didn't, I didn't think anyone would play with me if i bought it so. yeah you kind of put this one on the table like here you go let's try this <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if you like this, but at least we'll get one play in. <laughs> but yeah, it ended up being super successful, and we've had it and love it ever since. So there you go. Power Grid randomness today. So yeah, if you think... Um, it's it's really more like budgeting. It's not really like hard math. It's, mm -mm, like, doing no. a, it's like doing a household budget. I gotta spend this... If I spend this much on auctions and I, 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 I need way. to have, I need to set aside this much for my resources yep. and then exactly. I need this much to be able to, do, to build a to build the, the stations that the power stations I want to build yep so you just kind of budget it. out your money in little stacks <laughs> and you're like, okay now I've got 25 that I can bid at the auction that's left over that's kind of how we start kind of you kind of start from backwards right okay I want to build one power plant is cost this much then I want need this much for my fuel yeah then that leaves this much that I can bid on stuff with right yeah so it's kind of it's budgeting more than yeah, it's it is, and I don't know why I like that. I 
it's, which I guess I'm probably really obvious. I'm sure people know how much I have to bid with things because I do, I, I am that person that lays them out. And I, I have the little stacks. I'm like, okay, for phase one, here's my stack of money. I always like portion everything out. So I guess if you really watched me, you probably know exactly what I have for what, but I don't know. Everybody else is pretty much in their own zone doing the so same someone thing. left a comment about this game in a different video. Okay. And, uh, they, they play hidden money. Where you don't know how much money the other player has. We should try that. That sounds interesting. Yeah. I think that would change the auctions up quite a bit. That sounds fun. Yeah, because I mean... Because we, we, look, we look over there and he's like, we, okay, she's got 21 yeah, to bid for auctions. Look. I bid 22. <laughs> that would be fun. Yeah, because you don't know how much... You have no idea. Did. Yeah. So anyway, that's something we might try next time we play. Oh, yeah. hidden money. Fight, fight. It good. doesn't say in the rules, as far as I could tell, I read through the rules after they made that comment. Yeah. And I don't think it says either way. It doesn't. A lot of games say you have to keep your money where people can see it. Yeah, Other games say true, the money don't. is hidden from the players. Yeah, they don't. This so. one doesn't say either from either one. It doesn't, doesn't <laughs> even mention what you have to do with your money at all. That's craziness. So. Oh, wow. Fun. Okay. All right. Ooh, I like that. I like that idea. All right, I guess we'll move straight on to... Is it? Is the it time? The unboxing! Okay, okay. Now, there's a specific order to this. Oh, good grief. The, the You'll mid, understand The middle box this. first. The middle box? Oh, wait. Before we start, do I even remember what games we have in there? See, box? this is ridiculous. He doesn't even know, people. Okay. Let me think about it. I know all There's the... an order, but you don't know which was what. I know, I know three of the four in the bottom box. What's the other one? I don't remember what the last one is. Oh, yes. While he's thinking, yes, we actually lately typically do play that two-player. And we like it. It's um, a little more sprawling. There's a little you, less... You, you, uh, the map shrinks. Yeah, the map shrinks. But, but you you still can kind of, for the most part, until later in the game, not cut each other off so much. But you still can. So the map does shrink. That's yeah, really the only Yeah, there's a change. certain number of regions. It's the the maps are broken up into regions and based on it cuts the, down the, the number of re, number of players. But that's you, the only change, right? I mean, the rest yeah, of it plays I mean, the same, which is pretty awesome, much. and we we like it. I like playing a two player. Uh, look look away. Look away. Look away. Look away, Dixie Lane. Okay. Look what? away. I'm looking. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Okay. One two three. Wow, there's five in that bottom box. That's crazy. Good grief. All right, so this is the point where you guys got to guess what's in the packages. They can't even see the packages. I'm going to bring them up. All right, so we have heavy package, flat package number one. Okay. Okay. And then we have... Good hey, Zachy's on. Well, hello. Our, our super fan, Zachy. Hey, stranger. Yeah, we promised right. some... Uh... This is light. This is really light. Okay. Don't know what's up with that. And then, this is actually fairly light, too. Look at this. This is ridiculous. <laughs> All right. There's your clues. We got... I got, I got clues. We got two expansions. A simple card game. A.K.A. free shipping. No. No? Oh! Ooh! Okay, okay. Hmm. A word game. Oh, I know what the word game is. <laughs> hint, hint, it's one that Hunter actually won. There is a promo to get free didn't shipping. Deny it. It's a promo to get free shipping. So there is a AKA free shipping. I was I was literally a dollar seventy five from free shipping. So I bought a promo <laughs> to get to free shipping. So I spent a dollar ninety nine to save ten dollars worth of shipping. Is we that, have our priorities straight. Um, <laughs> there is a two-player only game. Man. Oh. So that's, I should have. Are they all new games? Like, recently? Somewhat recent. Oh, that doesn't help me then. Okay. I see. Well, I mean, we should have. I know one. one of these. I know one of one, these. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one is an accessory. Okay. I think I know which one's the accessory. All right. So I don't know what it let is. Let me go through this again. But two expansions, a simple card game, a word game, a promo, a two-player only game, and an accessory. Okay. Well, we know it's not hardback. Actually, I know what the word game is. Can I say? Can I say? Ha, 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 ha. Because I never get these right. 
People are starting to trickle in. Welcome those that are joining. Hello, hello, peeps. La last chance to guess. I'll give you about 10, 15 seconds, and we're going to start opening stuff up. Well, I know one. Two expansions. I know one. A simple card game, a word one. game, a I know the promo, word game. I know a two-player only game, I know the word and an accessory. Word game's wordsy. Yeah! <laughs> you won that game. I knew you were going to buy that game. Heck that game yeah. was fun. I'm going to frame that and put it on the wall. No, you're not. We're going to play it again, and I'm going to school you. Yeah. If if I got it. You got it. Shut up. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let's go straight to the unboxing. We're so not, it's the middle one first. We're not getting many guesses. Yeah, start with the middle one. Okay. This is one. This is one of the expansions. This one I had to actually open up because I didn't know what it was. <laughs> that should give you a hint to what it is. It's a Kickstarter. Oh, okay. Well, that that doesn't help me at all. Everybody else probably. Keeps track. We'll open this in a second. That's. I didn't even know this was out. <laughs> <laughs> Deception murder in Hong Kong, anyone? Yeah. So I, I heard a rumor about this that we may have to actually buy card sleeves. Because the, there's rumors, rumors has it the expansion cards look different from the oh, base no, game cards. No. So you can tell that if someone's roll card is a new card. Oh, yeah, so, then that would be bad. So we're going to buy, I guess we'll buy some of those uh, sleeves that have the colored backs so you can't see the backs of the i got to make sure I brought the game back. That's like my number one game with my students. And here's right all now. the They're extras. Expensive. Sorry note. Oh, my. What is all this? Oh, my gosh. So we got Western Europe, Southern Europe, America, and what's this one? I don't know. Deception Undercover Allies. USA. K so, so they're themes. No, it's Kansas. KS. I'm kidding. I'm they're, kidding. They're theme packs based on the different areas. That's cute. So this is a this so, is should this be the Canadian one? Sorry. <laughs> no, this is a, this is North America. So we got a maple leaf as a little Canadian flag. Oh, that's adorable. A hockey stick. That's hilarious. A hockey puck. Oh my goodness. A zamboni. Are fun. you serious? Wow, way to throw a out the stereotypes. A curling stone. <laughs> a mounty hat. And for the America, we got baseball. Oh my god! We have a cheeseburger. Oh my god! The American flag. Nerdy. An nerdiness. SUV. Oh yeah. Okay. A racehorse. Hmm. A mouse ear hat. <laughs> Blue jeans. Oh dear! Now we're getting really stereotypical. Here's Mexico. We have a sombrero. <laughs> Tequila. Oh my goodness! <laughs> a cactus. A poncho. <laughs> A iguana, <laughs> <laughs> a luchador mask. <laughs> oh my! I can't. I'll pronounce this improperly. It's a Aztec. Olmec. Uh, yeah, that too. Mask. Clever accomplice. Ooh, a roll. Yeah, the roll cards. They're... Use instead of the accomplice. Ooh. Yeah, but you look at the back. Dragon fruit. Apparently, the backs Instant of the cards. Look MSG. Good. They put MSG as a thing. Chopsticks, superhero mask. What is this? Superhero for? cape. I don't know. Which pack is this? U A K S pack. Just a special what? packs. Wine skin, hockey mask, ghost mask, Necronomicon, <laughs> Clockwork Bird, Death Ray, Laser Shark. Yes. <laughs> laser Shark. There's a it laser has lasers. Shark. Obsidian Sword, Knife Fingered Glove, Lawnmower. Oh, it's all like horror movies and stuff. Nail gun, shotgun. Z virus airship and a spear. And All I, right, I, I think we have it. some Europeans on. Let's see if these are or these are, are applicable here. So it looks like we have Italy, right? So we have olive oil for Italy. <laughs> oh jeez. A gondola. <laughs> you kill someone with a gondola? How do you kill someone with a, push them off of it? That's a, yeah, that's the color for the murder weapon. A carnival mask. Nice. Okay. A volcanic magma. <laughs> yes! This is the best ever! Uh, Michelangelo's brush. You kill someone with Michelangelo. that? Michelangelo. Oh, no, da Vinci's sketchbook. This is greatness. A Roman bath. Sweet! You kill someone there? Yep. Nice! Alright, now we got Spain. We got a soccer ball. <laughs> a flamenco. You know England shirt. is probably going to have a small stroke that you put Spain for soccer. <laughs> or football. What's that? Castanets? Is that what those Castanets. are called? Castanets. The little clicky things? The little, aren't the clicky things? He doesn't get out much, people. A matador sword? A Salvador Dali painting? A saffron flower? Ooh. Alright, so we got Greece. A marble brick? 
<laughs> a discus. I'm going through all these cards. I love it. <laughs> Javelin. I have a sorry note of fire. A Spartan or... sword. Or sail sign. You can kill someone. Socrates, with the sign. Republic. <laughs> a sea sponge. And feta cheese. <laughs> are those right? You're from those countries? Are those, those? Oh my gosh. These are like screaming stereotypes here. Yeah, well. These are amazing, the, though. The world is a stereotype, right? Well, yeah. All right. I guess. Here's here's here, here's Western Europe for all you. Uh, that looks like uh, France. We have a beret. Oh jeez. A baguette. <laughs> you killed someone with a baguette. Yes. <laughs> it must be old and stale. A designer handbag. A crip pan. <laughs> Crepe pan. A, di a what's this? Racing bicycle. <laughs> Napoleon's hat. <laughs> Please tell me you kill someone with that. Ah, nope. oh, that's an item left at the scene. An Eiffel Tower souvenir. Apparently you kill them with that. It looks pretty pokey. I guess you could stab someone with that. <laughs> a guillotine. <laughs> All right, here's Britain. And we have at least one person from UK is on. So here's a tennis racket. <laughs> a Big Ben souvenir. You kill someone with a Big Ben souvenir. That's awesome. <laughs> Shakespeare's quill. Ooh. Mm. Please tell me you kill someone with that. Nope. Darn it. A cricket bat. A pint glass. Yes! They come in pints. They come in pints? A Union Jack. That's awesome. A pretzel. Are oh, you we're, serious? Oh, we're in uh, Germany now. I was like... Pretzel. <laughs> a hood ornament. What? <laughs> All the German automobile companies. Yeah, yeah. Berlin Wall Stone. That's cool. Wow. Bach Composition. Com composition. Composition. That too. An accordion. Accordion? I guess a polka. Poker German, right? Oh, good lord. Lederhosen! Yes! <laughs> oh my gosh, that's awesome. Alright. MSG so is deadly, I agree. Oh wait, I saw a question. Where was that? Review of... Oh my gosh, Raja of the Ganges. Love that game. We've only played it two players so far. It was a... It was, I would wow. say... Yeah, it's probably... That's a, that's a high up the list for me. It's, 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 it's gotta good. be top... Two or three of the year for me. Oh, of the year so far? Yeah, yeah four look, of the year. Look at the new thing. little things that you put on the uh, clues. <gasps> these are cool, guys. Oh, my gosh. I got to pull these out so you can see them. They've tricked up the Deception Murder in Hong Kong thing. Well, now. this is extra. I paid it's... extra to get them. Oh, did you? Well, instead of putting a little... The, uh... the little clue thingy on the, the little, like, bullet. Now you've got a little... Um, um, microscope. microscope. I'm like, microphone. I'm losing and Look my at this mind. for the badges. Badges? We don't need no stinking badges. They're, they're little metal badges. These are stinking cool. There you oh go. Oh my gosh. Well, we way over unboxed that one because I was uh, super excited about this. I've been waiting for this one for I, a while. I got to make sure I brought this, this home. This is one of our favorite my games. My students so. are going to flip out. Oh my gosh. I can't wait. All right. This is so cool. Push this all the way. No. I want to play. <laughs> I want to play. I like the, I like the theme packs. That's funny. Cause the you, theme packs are hilarious. Yeah. They're so so stereotypical though, but they're funny. Uh, all right, all right. So can I open this now? No, it's on that's the last. All right, this is very strange. I'm opening this last. I think I know what that is. I don't know what game it's for, but I know what it is. Yeah, uh, yeah. The. All right, here's some shenanigans. All, all right. right. Oh no, we have peanuts. Is this cool stuff? This is cool stuff. In stock, in my house. <laughs> Your house is cool stuff. It's it ridiculous. Much is. I'm trying that here, Smokey. Here, enjoy the peanuts. My cat just wigged out. That was awesome. Oh, hey. What a shock! The one I got right. Wordsy. Oh, hey. And stuck to the back of it is something for Stop Thief. Is that your promo card that you got? Yes, this is my... <laughs> this is my... So, do Wordsy real quick. Wordsy! Okay, this is the game that Hunter won, so he, he loves this game. And this one's fun because you can make up... You, you, you get a, here, one here, the back shows you better. You've got some, some different columns of letters, and the more that you can combine into one word, the more of these, the more points you get, and you can throw in any other letters you want to make that word. So you're not restricted like you are with, although hardback's gotten a little easier with the wilds, but like paperback, you're kind of left with only those that you have, right, unless you get a wild. And this one, you can go crazy and make all sorts of interesting words, and for whatever reason, you like dominated this you, you like I, th I think, this game I, think up. The, I think the fact that this so much fun. this one um has a time limit throws you for a loop that's true because it's a race to get the yeah loop. that's true there's a time limit there's a bonus if you get the word 
first. Yeah. And I almost never get the word first, so. And then the promo. So I needed a dollar seventy-five to get free yeah, shipping. Yeah, let's see. Is this worth it? So it's stop thief. You ready for this? Yes, I'm ready. That's not it. <laughs> All this build up for what? It's Jason Lamine. <laughs> This is awesome! <laughs> when captured, all other investigators choose and discard a movement card other than their lowest one. And he's worth $8,000. Jason Lamine. That is awesome! <laughs> That's awesome! Jason's in our game. Jason Lamine. All right. Jason Lamine. That's Here's the problem. Some more. The cat is loving this. Okay. Oh, jeez. I hope I'm not getting peanuts in my coffee. I'll cry. <gasps> yes! <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about wanting to play this game forever. Raptor. So this is the game that actually initiated this purchase. Because it finally came back in stock. It's been out of stock for <laughs> forever. Forever. I've wanted to play this ever since uh, uh, Werfel had this on their Raptor. Blender. Raptor. <laughs> yes. I, and everybody loves this game. I want to be a dinosaur. <laughs> I want to be a scientist. And Good I thing I'm going to eat kill, you. Kill your dinosaur. No, you're not. No, nope. my raptor's going to shred you to pieces. <laughs> it is awesome. I can't wait. Everybody loves this game. I want to play this game. Yeah, it just came back in the print. In fact, is this the same? Yeah, I'm out of here. Yeah. So it was out of, it was out of print, uh, at least for cool stuff. It has been out of print forever. I haven't seen it in my local game store. I've been wanting to buy this one for at least eight, nine months. And it finally came back into stock. <laughs> and so I went out and like, oh, I gotta buy this. But wait. But wait. There's more. <laughs> yeah. There's more pretty. So this shows. is a two-player game where one one uh, person plays uh, raptors and little baby raptors, and this, the other one plays scientists trying to capture the baby raptors. So this is like a prequel to Jurassic Park. Where I don't know. <laughs> we can make it whatever we want to. It's gonna be glorious. All right. All right. Oh, this is big. Don't do the big one. We'll do the big one last. I, I, I don't think I have a choice. Nope, there is at least one other game in there. Oh! Two other games in there. I just saw what it is. Oh my gosh, this is the best ever. Yes! Yes! That's, this lady. is for her. This is so awesome. I got to play this with Gaming Wife last couple weeks ago. This game is a, like, guilty pleasure, hilarious, awesome, simple, super simple game throw down game but it is so much fun it's just so cute well when you said that you think the girls would like it that's it and, and the girls are gonna love this game i cannot wait to play it with them um they had tricked up their game the the um components in a real basic they mostly just have cubes but they had tricked up their game and got little milk bottles and all sorts of cute things and stuff for it which it was just hilarious and it's just really simple you're you're getting cats and you need to feed the cats and you can buy toys as like a little set collection thing and it's Super fun. The art's adorable. So there you go. I'm now a crazy cat lady. Yes! Yes! You're already a crazy cat lady. Man, this is like lady. Christmas. This is greatness. Deception in Hong Kong, Wordsy, Raptor, cat lady. This is insane. All right. Last but not least, the big one. What is this? Oh, wow. No way. This is Hunter's present. Well, mutual. So the reason <laughs> I saved our other play for last is this. You're smoky. We played this game. Oh, sorry. It's very large. We Hi. played we played this game last week, and this game is amazing. I played it, and I'm like, this game was designed for me. So. It was. It's super, super awesome. Super awesome. So uh, we played the the game. I played it solo first, just to try it out, and I was like, I played it solo, and I was like, I'm in love with this game. So this game, yeah, he's if you don't know about it, it's a worker placement game uh, set in the near future. The future. Um, alternate future, however you want to say it. Um, so it's a worker placement game and you have, uh, each person has their own player board and you'll, you'll eventually buy buildings and things to have actions on that board and there's some actions on that board. And when you do actions on that board, you use a regular worker. Um, but there's also a, a main board that everyone uh, everyone plays oh, on. Head. Sorry. Ow. <laughs> There's a main one that everyone play, a board that everyone plays on. But in order to go to the board, you have to power up a mech suit because it's apparently there's like a wasteland between your area and their area, and you have to travel across it. And in order to travel, you have to have your worker has to be in a mech suit. Um, and so it's it's, got, it's it's got all kinds of cool mechanisms in it. One of them is that you can borrow from yourself. So you basically say, oh, I need 
I need uh, some uranium or whatever, and you, yeah. and you say uh, you send it from the future back to yourself. You basically say, okay, in the future, it's like some some bad bad t- uh, movie, right? So in the future, at some point, I need to send myself some uranium back to the past to now. Otherwise, you blow up your entire. And then and then you get you get the, ra- you, the uranium just ma- magically appears, and now look, I got uranium. But at some point in the future, you have to send the rain- uranium back to yourself. Or there's a paradox, and you can have all kinds of all bad Crazy things. Happens. Things happens, uh, anomalies happen, and things like that. If you don't actually send the resources back to yourself in the past, but in the base game, if you didn't get the Kickstarter, if you get in the retail version, the base game, the mechs are just like little tiny wooden uh, cardboard discs. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You just take your 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 just. worker and you set it on top of your disc and you put your disc out. In the new game, the new expansion, or if you got the Kickstarter and got everything, there's now mechs. You actually have mechs that you put workers in. I gotta open this up. <laughs> so see how good you are at opening these. Oh, you're getting better. Look at you. No scissors. All right. So, you're going up. <laughs> so in the expansion, not only does it add other things you can do, it adds uh, some. Uh, Modular expansion oh. stuff. It adds. And I've seen these. Oh! It adds. Oh my goodness, they're huge. It adds mechs. So no, they're add, huge. When you actually go out to the. Uh, I to thought they'd be little. No, 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 they're massive. So when you go out to. The, I bet they're sealed. Haha, <laughs> you don't get them. It's a trick. <laughs> Wait for it. You grab some scissors. I don't want to. I don't want to break this. There you go. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I gotta show these off. <laughs> Alright, maybe I'll get it. Hold on. Too late. Somehow I scared the cat. He's too busy attacking peanuts. Alright. Looks like it's only on the ends. I got a new die. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, there's uh, there's like some expansion, some some modular stuff you can add to the game. Interesting. So this when you go, neat. so the I mechs. Pleasantly surprised. You want to grab one? Look at the, so the mechs, beast. The little mechs that you actually put, and what's even cooler? Isn't it cool? Is it has a little slot. I don't know if it's you can see it. There's a little slot. Now you, you actually slide your little worker inside the little mech suit. Yeah. So he's his little head's poking out of the top of the mech suit. <laughs> this looks like a dude from Alien or something. That's awesome. So there's four different factions. So you got the 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 peaceful harmony faction. Got the winged look at the scary guy. And then the squid guys are the coolest. I think they're the coolest ones. Those are the coolest. Little You're gonna fight over that one, I think. That's pretty amazing. And then and here's this guy. And then there's the, uh, the player. The 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 when you play solo, this is for the solo player, I think. No, no, this there's. Oh a, no, that's that's for escaping. I bet. No, no, no. This is the exp- no. There's an expansion where you can uh, rent. You can basically buy a extra suit that's always powered up. So that's what this is for. There you go. Learn and I bet you can use them for the. But what's cool is, even though it kind of breaks the theme, you could pop the bottoms off and switch your color to whatever you want. Even oh, though, nice! Even though it kind of doesn't fit the theme, but Who you cares? can you can yeah. switch out the. Different that was ones. nice of them. So. Yeah, because you're like, I want squid dudes. You get squid dudes. I guess that's for if you wanted to solo too. So more about anachrony. It is. It is now by far away. There's not a close second. My favorite game of 2017. Um, it blows everything else away. That's how much I love it. And it will be appearing probably in the t- my top ten of all time next time I do it. That's how Did much. Did you hear I, that? Did you hear that? This Crazy. game is awesome. If you like worker placement games, and you like even if you do or don't like sci-fi theme, um, th- if you like worker placement games, you've got to try this game out. Uh, I wouldn't go as crazy as I went and buy all the craziness, but... Uh, well, until you find out until if you, you find like, it. like it. But now, it's one of my all-time favorite games. So, therefore... Why are you packing this up? You got these out. Therefore... What? Oh! Oh, that's what this is, then. This is... Oh! I just dumped a whole box of peanuts on the cat. That was fun. I'm sure he's pleased. Yeah, well, he's a little There's weird. a hole. There's a hole somewhere. That I could pre-cut. Okay. Oh! Okay, that wasn't very well cut. So, I went even crazier... And you got an insert, didn't you? <laughs> I was like, this is too flat. Can you get it? I have scissors well, right here. Yeah, I, I, I could manhandle it, but I'm afraid I'd hurt the insert. Alright. There we go. Look at this beautiful thing. Meeple Realty, right? Isn't Yeah, Meeple Realty. Oh, yeah. Shiny, pretty so. wooden bits. 
So yeah, apparently he likes this game because he's right, now so invested. They ask how complex is an acrony. An acrony is definitely a mid mid to heavy mid to heavy game. I yeah. would say. Yep. I would say. Let me think. What's this on par with? Um, it's definitely more complex than. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what type of games you play. Um, it's not up there with Through the Ages or War of the Ring, that level. It's not as No, difficult. it's like a step below. It's not difficult as Galarist or um, Lisboa. It's a step down from that. I would say it's somewhere between... Above Feld? It's probably... Around? A little, little... It's probably above a he the heavier Felds. It's, 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 it's solidly mid to heavy game. Yeah. Um, if you play base game and don't add any expansions or any extras or the Doomsday track and you're just going just base game without any extras, then it's it's Feld -ish. it's probably a, it's probably like a Trajan yeah uh, Bora Bora level game yeah so um, it just got it just has some some it has a lot of symbology which you'll eventually learn um, it has it's, it's straightforward though. Like, once you learn what it is, you can easily read how, what things cost and this and that. You won't have to relearn it every time you look at it again. I taught Rebecca how to play in less than a half an hour. Yeah, it was... And she hardly asked any questions after we started playing. It's a really smooth game. And it's not because I was smart. How does it compare to Great Western Trail? Heavier than Great Western Trail. Yeah, yeah. Not, like, massively, like, completely no. in a different ballpark. Same, but... same level of fun to play in my book. Yeah. Like, I... This game... If someone offered me either one of those games, I'd be like, heck yeah, you already have it set up, right? <laughs> no, the, 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 to quote the, 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 what all the kids say, this is my new jam. <laughs> wow. That is not what the kids say. I I'm just going to tell you. I that. love... You're so, so... I love so this game. So ten years ago. This, okay, game, anyway. this game is... I, my I can't... Jam. I, it's awesome. This game is awesome. Yeah, oh yeah, it's really fun. It's like someone designed a game for me. Is how I feel about this game. So, <laughs> and Smokey thinks that you designed that box for him. Well, he's, <laughs> he's over here just batting things around. I'm surprised you guys can't hear it. So I would definitely <laughs> try it out. Um, if you like worker placement games and you like at least if you if you can handle Great Western Trail and Terraforming Mars, this one isn't like oh no 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 way out you could, beyond you could that. Totally, you could totally play it. Um, there's actually a couple of good teaching videos out on the internets. I nice. I can't think of the sites, but I used one of them. And basically, I read the rules. I watched one of those videos, and I was ready to go. So, cool. So. Yeah. Yep, yep. So cool. Let's see here. Um, ooh, Lords of Waterdeep. That's a good game. But yeah, it's heavier than that. <laughs> yep. Definitely, definitely heavier than Lords of Waterdeep. Even, even with Skullport, it's even heavier. It's yeah. yeah. But I don't think it's Galarist heavy. I think it's no, no. I think not. it's a step down <laughs> from like the Galarist and Lisboa. Oh, yeah. and Through the it's Ages much... and War of the Ring. I think those. I well, can say those for are... one thing, it didn't even take that long for you to explain it, like you would with those games. Those mm -hmm. games have so much um, overhead learning. And, and if you already, and the thing is, if you already understand worker placement, how that works, then you, it's easy. Then you're you're really and truly set. Yeah, if you were new to worker placement, that'd be much tougher. But a lot of it's based off of how you do the worker placement part. So if you are familiar with that, that'd be a piece of cake. Well, okay. a piece of cake, but close to it. Yeah, that's awesome. Ooh. So, yeah, I guess we're going to have to have some, some playtime and some review soon to talk with you guys. Because I'm curious about the ones that, like, um, you guys have played. I know a lot of... I don't know about... The rising the Sun, today, Rising like, Sun's all the hotness. And, yeah. And I... I may have don't know if I saw it right, but I think they may have a copy at Dallas Games Marathon. So I want I want to Rising Sun. I want to try because it has that you need three players. Oh bummer. Thing going on with it. That's yeah. the only reason I didn't back it. If he would have put even a two player variant in, you probably would have been like so. I would have I would have bought Blood it. Uh, but it requires three players. It's understandable. It's it it has trading and alliances and stuff like that, which you just. So much of that game apparently revolves around alliances and trading and negotiation and that sort of thing, and two players, that just kind of goes out the window, right? Um, I guess you could do it. <laughs> I don't know how you would even do it two players. But I do, I do want to play <laughs> I won't it. trade with you. I, I do want to play it. I do want to try it out, but I'm not definitely... I'm probably not going to buy it. That's the same reason why I haven't bought um, The Godfather. I, hear it doesn't, doesn't. <laughs> I want to play that so badly, though. So. Sleeping with the fishes. 
Yep. So anybody play any good games? Some new games recently? I want to know. I want to know. All the new new funds. Anybody play something new for them? Let us know. Okay. Share. So. Share. I'm gonna do something unusual. Oh dear, I'm scared. It's time for the trailer. Oh jeez. Tell me about your new games while he's loading this nonsense, people. So so give me a second, and I'm I'll be I'll be back. We're gonna do a little short little trailer. Oh, that's cool. Mark was mentioning that if you back something on a, a Kickstarter, you should uh, do a little uh, video later about how you liked it and stuff. Hmm. That might be kind of fun. Yeah, when we have more time, we'd like to do more stuff like that. It's just, uh, unfortunately, it's more me than Hunter, as you'll probably see after you see the trailer. But um, <laughs> um, my my time is the where we're running in the snags right now. All right, here it comes. Crazy. So should I show the trailer, then explain it, or explain it, then show the trailer? Show the trailer! Okay. Keep it mysterious! All right. Mysterious. Here comes... I can't believe you're doing sneak previews. You cheater. I'm, no, I'm just doing the, the intro. Oh, okay. There you go. Here it is. Okay. That looks like math. All right, hold on. i got to switch over the audio here. Hold on. Oh. Still can't hey, hear look, you. you can see the comments. Hey, look, it's us. Oh, whoa, hey! <laughs> <laughs> Fire the IT guy. It's us. <laughs> what just happened? I don't know. Oh, my gosh. You can hear us. And we're back. All right. I hope so. That, <laughs> that was the trailer to my new board game breakfast show. Woo! Because he, he's got more time than I do. <laughs> so that was, that was quick, man. That was really fast. So... That was the intro. So starting Monday morning, and hopefully every week, we're going to do our best, I want to have a board game breakfast show that is number related. So basically it's a topic that has some kind of revolves around numbers or statistics or rankings or lists or just some numeric related uh, topic. And I sent a demo to Tom last week. He immediately stuck it in the show, so apparently he liked it. And we're going we're gonna to be doing a... Uh, and we're still doing Blender. We're still doing Blender. Yeah, we're doing Blender. Just, this is my own thing yeah. because Rebecca's so busy with life. <laughs> life. Oh, <laughs> life. <laughs> life. Okay. But, oh, oh did people, let's uh, see. Tikal. See, I I want to play that. I've seen so many talk people talk about that game. We don't have Tikal. Mm -hmm. No, we don't. We don't. It's Tikal the one where you build the bridges between the islands? Or is that, no, that's... that's no, kind of, I don't think so. Oh, Tikal is the one... It's the Aztec themed one. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to play that one. So that's cool. I'm glad you like that. And it's like, yay, yet another recommendation, right? That's awesome. So. <laughs> kids games. So. I feel you. Go over to Board Game Breakfast if you're not already watching it. You should be already watching it. And uh, check it out and let me know. Get, give us some feedback on what you think. Um, I probably won't be loading the videos on our channel. Uh, it'll probably just only be on there. But, um. There you go. I'll probably put links in our oh, there you go. in Twitter and such to the video. So cool, cool. No exploring. I love numbers. Yay! Very cool. All right. See, that's <laughs> troll. Trolls only play kid games. It's like, yeah, we go through phases like that too. Well, as you saw, we've only played those two games recently. The rest of the time, we haven't played that many games. I've been out of town. I've been working on breakfast. Yeah, you were working <laughs> on Well, yeah, because you had nothing better to do, right? Because I, I was out of town doing training and stuff. See, I even got a souvenir. Woo! That was fun, though. Teacher what? teacher nerd stuff. But, um, yeah, so there you have it. Link? Uh, there's no link to the breakfast yet. Oh, you mean link to Dice Tower? Just Dice Tower. Go to YouTube and type Dice Tower Board Game Breakfast and you'll find it if you haven't been there yet. Yep. Um, the Dice Tower. It comes out every Monday morning, usually, unless something's going on. Um, He's pretty consistent with it. Um, so, yeah. I won't tell you what the topic is or anything. I'll let you go. Fine for yourself. But I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Because I love statistics and how numbers work together and, you know, figuring out, you know, 
rankings and how things. It's just I've always had it. Numbers have been my thing. It's been my jam. Oh my gosh, you <laughs> brought that back. Oh, he's, my whole life. He's hip. I've loved numbers since I was. A, he's with a it, little, little kid, and I just like how they work together and how they do their thing. And I love this insert. I know it's obnoxious, the insert itself, but <laughs> that's funny. Sorry. So here's the little dudes. <gasps> They're adorable! Little scientists and little tiny little raptors. I know you can't see them, but... Here, I'll put my hand as a backdrop. Look at that! That's the mommy. That's the mommy. Wait, let me show you a baby. The babies are so... Oh my gosh, look at how tiny it is! <laughs> okay, that's insane. Okay, where's the scientist dudes? Do they look cool? Oh yeah, they're hilarious. Well, this guy... Oh, he's... What does he do? Oh, okay. He's he looked got, like he was chugging. He's got binoculars. He's got binoculars. It's kind of hard to see against my hand, because he's... Oh, he's tiny. He's so tiny. I can't show you, but yeah. He's looking up binoculars. All right, That's so hysterical. someone asks, which has more replay value, Clans of Caledonia or mm. Great Western Trail? I feel like Great Western Trail. That's just me, though. I'm going to disagree. Yeah, of course you are. You, he's like Clans of Caledonia. So Clans of Caledonia has replay value and for a number of reasons. One, you you start with a clan that gives you a unique ability, and there's a ton of, there's I think there's like, eight to ten different clans. So every game you're going to start with a clan with a different ability. You're going to start off with different starting resources every time because you get a randomized starting resource thing. The uh, bonuses you get of e at the end of each uh, turn or round, whatever you want to call it, those are randomized as well. The contracts are going to come out in different orders. What The contracts you're going to fulfill in clans are they're all, it's a big giant stack. And they're, sure. going to, they're going to be randomized. True. Okay. Great Rest and Trail, I love it. It's one of my all-time favorite games. But... The only randomization you're going to have is which starting, which buildings you get to build. Okay, but... And, and there's uh, the, and, and the order that the, uh, the tokens come out. Okay, but I think, for me, when I play that game, my instant thought is, I want to focus on engineers this time. You can, how you approach that game can vary the game completely because the, each time, you, if you go after the people, they give you certain bonuses and stuff. Like the cowboys, if you get some cowboys and you really build up, like, making the cows cheaper and stuff, you could try that. Or you could not focus on the people at all and do something completely different, work on just buildings or something. You can change your tactics and change how you play that game every yeah, time. Yeah, but that's, that, you can always, yeah, you can change, you're right. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying Great Western Trail doesn't have no, replays, no, no. right? I, I, just, just, I think Clans is, has, has it more. Okay, up front on the setup. But I don't know, the first thing I thought of, maybe it was just me, and I, I, I'm not saying that Clans doesn't, because it has a high replayability, but for me, Great Western Trail, as soon as I play that game, I'm like, I want to try this tactic. I, I'm already thinking about playing it again and what I want to do differently. With clans, I feel more invested in it completely like as just an engine churning. I don't know. It's For whatever reason, I, I don't know. But you're right. It's up front when you start, there's more variability. Well, and, 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 and even so, the, I didn't even say this, the, where you start on the board is going to ra radically affect where you... Because you, you, yeah. you pick your two starting locations. Because basically you start the same in Great Western Trail. It's yeah, eh. Eh. I I think mm. I th I enjoy I think fighting words. Great race Western Trail to me is I enjoy it slightly more than Clans, but Clans I think blows Great Western Trail away. Right? Replayability. Replayability. That's my opinion. Maybe because I like Great Western Trail better than Clans is yeah, why you... I would tend to want to play it and try different tactics more. There you go. I'm sure that was completely unhelpful. So the next <laughs> so the next top ten we're doing. Um, I think someone had Zachy asked, so I guess Ooh. so he can pre-prep his list. There you go. <laughs> yes. Uh, we're, we're strongly leaning towards games that we're not good at, but we still enjoy to play. I thought we did that recently. Didn't we do something like that recently, though? Didn't we do that? Let me see. Let me, let me look, look and see. Top 10 relaxing games. I think I have that on my list. I'm going to look and see. Let me look. No, we have... Oh yeah, I do have relaxing games. That is on my my list of our pool of top tens. That actually is one. You were probably the one that suggested it before, if I had to guess. We have a game. Uh, we have a list that's similar. It's called um, games we like more than the games we didn't think we would like. Oh okay, that's what it probably was. Okay. This could be a hard list for me to make. I don't think there's ten games I'm bad at. Really? <laughs> I'm just gonna pick a bunch of word games for you then. Except for word that games. That word games will be prolific on that list of the top ten. <laughs> so top ten games 
we're not good at, but we still like. I, I know. Or games that we don't r- rarely win. There we go. Games, games that we, we rarely win. Okay. But we still enjoy. Yeah, okay. So that's our that's our next top ten, huh? Yep. Okay. There you go. I'm putting it in the notebook. It's official, guys. It's official. Top ten. Didn't we didn't we just do engine building games? Um I want to say we did, or it got narrowed down to one of the ones we were going to do. We, we, no, I think I took it out because... Um, I think we've split it up into two different lists, actually, because we have so many engine builders. We have um, variable player powers, expansions... No, we haven't done engine building. That's a good one. We, we'll, we'll get to that we, one eventually. I thought we had. Uh, no, we, we thought about it a couple of times. Oh, we've been arguing it because Board Game Geek does not have... That as a engine building, for engine search. building is not. You can't do a search on it, so we'd have so, to actually go through our list of yeah, and find the one. We're gonna do that one. That when one we would, both have more time. That to one take prep time. That's because, a, that's what it is. It would take time to do because we can't just go to Board Game Geek and put engine yeah, building and, and get a yeah. list. So that one, because I I have to have the time to research it. So that's that's what ten it games is. that that are great but uh, not very pleasing to look at. I like that one. Ooh, ugly games. I dig it. Yeah. Okay. He tried to do it politically correct. I'm just going to be ugly, ugly about games. it. Top 10 ugly games. Top 10 ugly games. I don't games. think I have that one on here either, guys. Yep. So thank you. That's good. Oh, we have a box art. It's like the opposite. The top 10 box art. We were going to do we're the pretty, about do, we're we're thinking, pretty games. We thought about doing uh, the one that says the, the back of the box, but we'd have to go through all our boxes and pull them <laughs> off the shelf and look at the back hey, you of know the what? box. That sounds like a great reason to dust while you're at it, right? You're <laughs> pull like, every single clean. game hey, off the shelf and look at the back of the box. While we're we could be doing research for top tens. Yeah, in all our Genius. spare time that we have, right? Yes. Hey, but that's a twofer. You're getting housework done and doing fun <laughs> stuff. Whistle while you work, guys. There is that. I like it. See, you guys are geniuses. Top ten games you want to play. The that we're gonna repeat that one. We did. Uh, we did that one um, la two summers ago. Wow, was it that long ago? So this summer we're probably gonna repeat. We're about. We're, I'm looking back two years on it, every every top ten list and going, okay, does it make sense to redo that one? Mm-hmm. And that's one that I want to redo. Is uh, basically if we could play any game in the world. What t- what ten games would we want to play right now? Oh wow, wow! Has it really been that long since we've made that list? Yeah, it's called No Holds Barred or something like that. Oh wow, it doesn't seem like it was two years ago. I feel old. Yeah, two thousand sixteen. I'm almost certain I'm... it's two thousand. Top ten box sides. <laughs> well, that one would be easy to That'd do. That'd be fun. You guys are so obnoxiously fun. Not this, this one. Oh my gosh! <laughs> what is he? Oh. Huh? Hey, what's down there? This guy's like, hey. <laughs> This is greatness. Top t- I like that I one. I want it. Write that one down. I like that That's one. That's so that one's obnoxious. That pretty funny. Top, Top 10. 10 box size. <laughs> I like that. No, if, if we see this on the internet, we're going to know that someone stole Top it from us. Top 10 box size. That's, I, that one is really good. That's hilarious. Do we get to pick which side? <laughs> well, yeah. Because they're, they're, sometimes they're different. Yeah. So, like, Isla has like a dodo bird, but on this <laughs> side he's got... Explorer guy. I want the Dodo Bird. The Dodo Bird qualifies. <laughs> oh, Castles guy's got to be. Oh my gosh, that's worse. That's fantastic. Yes, I want to do that. That's one a good now. one. Top ten disappointments, but I had high hopes. The thing is that one. That one's hard for us. That one's hard for, for us because we do so much research, or I do so much research before I'll buy a game. I. It is very uncommon I go walk into a game store and go, ooh, that looks interesting, and buy it. Yeah, we... I, I usually watch reviews. I, I go to Board Game Geek and get analysis for two-player. I will yeah. place two-player. I do I do at least a decent amount of search for every game I buy. Yeah, um, I was going to say, that one, too, like... That's why you're not going to see very many negative reviews from us, because that's not the point of what we're doing. Yeah. We're... We're sharing the ones we researched and we really liked. I mean, if we got three, so, three games rolling in, then we might do some negative that reviews. Would be, that would be something. And occasionally we get some stinkers, like when we go, went to Board Game Geek Con and we got our free games. The free games. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I still have nightmares about that stupid... Um, I don't even remember the name of it. Twist of Fate. Yes, that Oliver Twist-based game. <laughs> but Okay, so yes. Top I mean, 10 Ameritrash <laughs> games. Do we have enough now to do that? We yeah. don't really play a lot of those. We probably have enough now. To do you have that. quite a few. You've gotten a few lately. You've gotten a yeah. Trashy. We probably could do that. The problem is it'll be it'll be my top ten of all time. Just take my top ten all time, throw all the non-merit trash off, and and, then sh- add, and add a couple sh- at the bottom. 
I mean, my top, my top ten, there's like eight of them probably in my top ten. Yeah, I was going to say, that might be a little too easy for you. Yeah, I have some Euros in there. I'd have some crossovers. I'd have a lot of crossovers, because we don't have a ton. Top Game Days that grow on you. I I think I have, have that. that one down. Yeah. They get better with age. Yeah, yeah. So we do have that somewhere one. Somewhere at the top. Yep, right here. Well, I yep. have that one. That's good. It's going to happen. This is the hard, the ones that take more research... Take, yeah, we're gonna be, we'll probably hit those in the summer. Those or something. are less frequent for us. If we can go yeah. to Board Game Geek and, and click a couple buttons and boom, pull up our list of games that we've rated, and then go, okay, which ones? Which ones do we like? Which ones best represent the list or whatever? It's it's quicker for us. If we have to actually yeah. sit and look at all our games and go, okay, does that fit? Yeah, it's hard for me to fit that it's in. It's really it's harder for us to do. Yeah, but we'll get to them. It's just not yeah. in the time frame. They are on like, our list. Top ten good, overrated good. games. I think we did something like that. Did we do that? We probably could do that because we do have we have done research and got games and it just kind of fell flat for us. Yeah, overrated. Yeah, do I don't know if I have. I'm going to write that down and check because I thought we did something like that recently, but recently within top the last ten games year. to introduce to young children. Um, we're going to repeat. Uh, that's one that's going to come up. We're going to do. Um, um, that's one of the ones that's coming up in March, I think it is, because mm -hmm. two years ago we did top ten games for children five and under. So now we're going to do top ten games for children. No, it's children four and under. Two years ago we did top ten games for children four and under. This time we're going to do top ten games for children six and under. So that one's going to be a repeat in about a month or so. Yeah. That's one. Although it's going to be heavier on the six around age six because Nessa started to phase out her little kitty ones. So it'll be for four kids, to six. Yeah, kids four to six ish. Yeah, probably. All right. Yeah. So and have you talked about um, what the girls are going to be doing? Yeah. Well, uh, they're, they're, it's going to be a couple months, but yeah. Yeah. They're gonna, uh, Nessa and, and Caitlin are going to do their top ten. All they're the very time. excited about doing these. They want to redo their top ten. I think Nessa did hers in March and Katie did hers in April. Is that what we're scheduling it? Yeah. yeah. Although who knows. As excited as they are, they may have to come. Start. Top ten oversized boxes. That's another one that would take a lot of research, but that's almost every game nowadays. Oh my god! I just put queen games. Queen games. <laughs> every one of their games is in this monstrously huge box, and it's like a deck of cards. <laughs> the biggest is Fender, I think, is Splendor. Splendor fits. Splendor in a, fits, fits in a, in a sandwich fits bag. A space about this big, and the yeah. box is like this. Yeah, it's a full Splendor's size pretty box. bad. But that one, what queen game? It was a queen game. I know it was. We had a queen game that, oh my gosh, recently. I don't remember. I don't remember either. And it was, I almost wanted to Top 10 Dice game. game. That's another one that's going to repeat. We've done that one. That one's going to come repeat in sometime soon. Okay. We did that one sometime two years ago. Yeah, I ha I think I have it on here. In Dexterity but games. If you want our old one, our old list is, is way Old one's got some solids on it. Slinging the scissors around on OSHA, OSHA <laughs> violation. All right. All right. Top 10 games you like more than I. We did that one recently, mm -hmm. and that was fun. That's kind of overrated. The overrated, yeah, that's true. That's really true. Overrated for us individually, right? Top 10 puzzle games that feature animals. <laughs> the hunter hasn't set on fire. We should probably add that to the end. Top 10 puzzle games that feature animals. Yeah. We should just do a top ten animals game. We did that already. I know we should do another one. You've had more. I can. You've discovered I can, I, animals in games <laughs> that we didn't think had animals. Raptor. See, spoilers. <laughs> spoilers. Cat lady. Don't don't mess with cat lady. Cat lady. Cat lady. Deception murder in Hong Kong. I'm sure there's animals in there somewhere. Yep. There's shrimp. See. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's. Wrap it up. Hey, you guys. It was awesome to, like, hang out with you, and we'll try to continue the tradition and get this rolling. It'll probably be more on Saturdays and Sundays. Yeah, we're going to look to do Saturday morning at least once a month for you, all you Euros over there that can't oh, well, catch and, us at night. And stray Canadians. And, and stray Canadians. And like, and all comers. Everybody's, everybody's right. welcome. <laughs> Just that when we do the video at 8.30 at night, it's like... it's Yeah, it's hard. It's, it's hard like to... It's 2.30 in the morning for... 2.33 and that, 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 that's some dedication and we don't require anything like that that's crazy that's crazy talk but that's our, about that's the earliest <laughs> we can get our videos is the, that by the time we get home from work eat dinner get the kids in bed and get set up it is eight o'clock yep and we may have the our kiddos time. we may have the kiddos on on the the weekend morning ones too occasionally too because they they love doing that stuff too so yep we'll we'll see we, we're still kind of formulating this as we go 
But thanks for joining us and helping us on our new test run. We had a blast. And look forward to a top 10 list coming up and the next segment for my top 100. Bye. Can't leave.